Tell them how much you're making per month gross and how much of that is leading. Cause I think you have one SEO client now, but yeah, tell them the, the, the metrics real quick. So I've got one SEO client that was like a long-term client came back to me last year and I started SEO. That's like 2,800 a month. So it's a pretty good chunk, okay. but I'm at 12,150 per month flat fee lead gen with those eight clients. Beautiful. So your average is like 1200 plus. Yeah, it was doing a little bit better than that, but a, a few guys lately, I've cut them some slack to keep them going through the winter. We'll kind of see how it goes. Literally, I had one guy local to me doing concrete and he talked up a game. Oh, I'm the greatest salesman. They always You're blessed to have me, but he sucked. And then he was only on commission. And I think probably over six months, he maybe paid me 1500 bucks. And I was sending him like 15 to 20 organic leads every month regularly. And I was even trying to do like some tree service with him. I launched some other websites in different areas because he, you know, kept telling me it was going to be amazing. We're going to make all kinds of money. And then I jumped in your program and I was like, okay, let's see if I can convert him to flat fee. And he was just not having it, not having it at all. Yeah, so I took those sites that I built for him and I've since sold them and I'm making $22.50 a month off of those sites. Well, and plus the original site that I had for him, which I just upsold that guy to an $1,800 a month for 12 months because I'm building him a website for his own business as well. Okay, so I'm listening to this and these numbers, I'm all like, it gets me excited to hear this, but like, I know there's people that are watching this and they're like, okay, this sounds fake. If you've never made money doing this, these numbers, even you hear them every week we do these calls like 1800 2200 like it sounds like wait really when you first heard of this business model were you like yeah me like i don't know like did you have any of those doubts because i know for me in some of these other groups i would see these like posts and i'm like ain't no way that dude's making that kind of cash like i just thought it was all like a thing but like did you ever have any of those like doubts i'm just calling it out i know i know there's oh, someone yeah. out here that's thinking that i mean especially early on when i would struggle I'd be like you know I would timidly ask someone to pay me 500 bucks a month for a site that was generating some pretty good leads and they hemmed and hawed and no you know it didn't want to maybe they did it for a little bit and then they canceled yeah I mean I didn't think it was possible to be putting up these kinds of numbers I'm still kind of pinching myself and I have to I've honestly been in a slump lately of sales but it's totally my fault because I get lazy I get cocky and I've been like, oh, I've been selling stuff. Now I don't really need to work for a month and <laughs> my pipeline is dry and I'm working on that. That's my biggest issue is learning how to be a business owner myself. But then I stop and I'm like, geez, a year ago, I was at zero flat fee. A year and a half ago, I was at zero period. And now I have a process that I can follow and just keep, keep adding it on. And they don't all work out. I'm looking, I think I've had... I've had about 20 Zoom calls, sales closes this year. Out of 19, I think 13, I've actually closed and gotten at least some money from. Of those, five of those did not continue. But the beautiful thing was that at least several of those, I still got money from them. I still covered the ads. Like I was running ads for two, three, four weeks, however long they signed the six month contract or, or maybe they didn't. They, they were with me for a week, two weeks, two months, and then they left, but I still made money. It wasn't building something for six months or a year. And then you got nothing to show for it. I got money from them to cover my costs. And then some, even if I went through the close process and they left me, I mean, it's the rent then rank. It's the way to do it. If Drake were in this business, he'd call it rent now, rank later. Absolutely. So, so one thing that you mentioned at the very beginning, I just don't want to forget to say this is, I think that's the biggest tragedy with this whole business model is people get in, they love the idea. Oh, we, we build these sites, their assets, like, okay, cool. And then they realize they build it and then they start doing SEO and they're like, hey, okay, what do we do for six months? And that's why so many people have the same story as I do, as you do, as uh, uh, so many people I know that they're like, well, we got to make money. So let's take on an SEO gig. Let's take on a website. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's consult. And before you know it, bro, you've been in the game five years. You're making a little bit of extra money, but you are trading your time for dollars and you do not have a business. You just have like these gigs essentially. So the thing that I love the most about pre-selling is it eliminates that. It allows you to make money 
essentially from day one. And you do not have to go and take on those like bridge the gap gigs that we've been taught to take on in other groups. It's like, no, you focus on one thing, you focus on one niche, you focus on one deal structure and watch what happens. And that's what's amazing.